writing is going to be my act of civil disobedience because it's a great way to get information to kids. Real, honest, accurate information. It's sometimes the best way to sneak a message to a kid is to hide it in the pages of a book. So what problem am I solving? Literacy is the gateway to self-advocacy. And what I realize is when you have low literacy rates, people tell you what to think. They tell you how to interpret things because you don't have the skills to get to the information yourself. I am currently working on a book about the phases of the moon in which the educational publisher asked me not to use the words gravity or orbit because they don't think kids could understand that. I wrote a book on genetics and Scholastic told me not to use women. Just focus on the major guys. And if we are producing all of these books for kids in which the hero is almost always a white guy, sometimes a white woman, then the message other people are getting is not them, meaning not us. You look at a series like Harry Potter, and if you look at the way the movies are framed or the books are written, you don't really see kids of color in the inner group. So I set out to write a Harry Potter-ish sci-fi series. And sci-fi because you could sneak in the math and science. Why? Why do a spell, Expelliarmus, if you could actually say, you know what, if you take these potatoes and some wires, you could actually make an electrical circuit. But the problem at the time was you could not publish a book like that and be black. Because the feeling was, white kids won't read a story about a black kid. Do the, the teachers create spaces in the classrooms for our kids to read these books together? The problem teachers have is they are under the gun about state assessment tests. And I had a meme where the kid is asking, is this a test to test us if we're ready to test on the test? It's gonna test to see if we're ready to take the test. Thank you everyone so much for coming. Thank you to our online participants. We appreciate your attendance.